Hey, Camden County, let's stop burning our trash. So if you're like most residents in Camden County, you probably don't have a lot of knowledge or maybe haven't given a lot of thought to what happens with our solid waste, the waste that we generate, that we throw away, right? We've all been sort of conditioned to not give a lot of thought to where or what away means. So let me give you a little insight into currently what happens with your solid waste in Camden County and what I would like to see change that I think would benefit us as residents and would also be better for, for the planet. So the current situation is that wherever you live in the county, your municipality passes a resolution that basically turns the decision, the control over what happens to your solid waste to the county, right? So the county is really the decision point where whatever's gonna happen with the solid waste, right? That's generated in all of our towns is then disposed of. The current way that our solid waste is disposed of here in Camden County is by burning it. So our solid waste is trucked from our individual towns into Camden City, into the trash incinerator, which is owned and run by a company called Cavanta. So all of our waste, again, is handled, that decision is handled by the county, and then the county has a contract with Cavanta, with the trash incinerator, which again is located in Camden City. If, like me, you live close to Camden, you have probably seen it. It's a big pink building and always, you know, smoke coming out of it. Um, you can also see it if you're driving down 676. So it's time for us to end our dependence on trash incineration and our relationship with Cavita. And I want to share four reasons why it's really important that we take this step and why I am running for county commissioner. One of the main motivations is this issue, right? That we need to move away from our dependence on burning our solid waste, which again is something we are doing countywide. So it's really important, firstly, that we know that this is outmoded technology. So trash incineration was very um, cutting edge, right? Back in the late 70s, the early 80s. So it's technology that was new when we were also debating between beta and VHS. Um, and at the time, it seemed like a good way to get rid of our waste, right? And so that's when the incinerator was set up. It's currently 31 years old. The life expectancy for a trash incinerator is about 24 or 25 years. So we're talking about a piece of expensive technology that at this point has outlived its life expectancy. Just like any piece of technology that's aging, right? It's not going to be as effective as we want it to be. Um, and we don't know how much time we have left with this, this piece of technology, right? Again, it's 31 years old. They last on average 24 years as the average life expectancy for an incinerator. So again, very outmoded. We've moved ahead technologically since the late seventies, early eighties. So it's time to look for other options. And it's been clear in the last couple of years that it's no longer, it's become so outmoded that it's no longer profitable for the company, for Cavanta, because they've come up with a couple of monetization schemes, right? So right now they have applied for a permit to, to burn liquid industrial waste. So they need new revenue steam streams. This would be one of them, this liquid industrial waste, which they've not even clearly defined what that would be. So again, it's time to have a new plan in place since we know this technology is old and the incinerator likely doesn't have a lot of years left in it. The, another reason that, you know, I think people would be very familiar with why we need to move away from trash incineration is the issue of public health. So the trash incinerator is the number one source of industrial air pollution in Camden County. If you look at the reports that are generated each year by the American Lung Association, they have graded our county as F quality air. We also have really high rates of asthma compared to other parts of the state. And this is because we are dependent on trash incineration. Think about air pollution, right? It doesn't just stay in one spot. It moves as does the air. So it's not like just Camden City is experiencing this, though obviously it's in their communities. They're experiencing even more than the rest of us, more on that to come. But we are all experiencing the air pollution that's caused by Cavanta. So, you know, we're talking about lead, mercury, particulate matter that is being spewed into the air, and we're all breathing that in, and it's doing <clears throat> long-term damage to, to the air that, that we're, again, we're all breathing. So again, for the sake of public health, reducing asthma rates, getting cleaner air, we need to make a break with 
Kavanta, we need to explore other options. Also, it is contributing to climate crisis. So trash incineration actually produces more greenhouse gases than a coal-fired plant. And we are in a moment, certainly we know in 2023, where we need to be taking climate action. We need to be doing this now. So again, right, both to protect our health and to protect the planet's health, we need to be to be breaking with incineration and exploring other options. And finally, from the issue of environmental justice, right, it's really important that we take action and we end our relationship with trash incineration with Kavanta. So again, the way this works is that all of our municipalities, so we're talking about, you know, the majority of our towns, our white, white collar communities, are then trucking their trash into Camden, into an economically disadvantaged minority majority community and burning our trash there, right? So again, this, in fact, this impacts all of us, but certainly, right, the biggest impact is going to be the people that live right in the shadow of the trash incinerator. So this is an issue of environmental injustice. We need to take action. We cannot continue to perpetrate this system, right, where we're just generating this waste and then other people are living right beside this facility that's, that's burning that waste. So again, right, we have outmoded technology. It's not gonna last forever. It's on the way out. We need to have another plan. We've got the public health crisis that's caused by all the toxins that it's putting into the air, giving us that F quality rating for our air. Um, we need to address the environmental justice piece of this. And again, we need to be serious about climate action, right? This is imperative if we wanna have a planet that is has a livable future for our children. So. Again, this is an issue that I'm running on as a column one county commissioner candidate. It's an issue I feel very strongly about. There are lots of options that our county can explore. Unfortunately, at the moment, the county commissioners have said they have no backup plan. They have said publicly without Cavanta, we have no idea what we would do with our solid waste. This is not a tenable situation. They need a plan. One thing they can do is they can change the way that they go out to bid. So again, this decision-making process is handled on the county level. So the county puts out a request for bids. And at the moment, all they bid for is trash incineration. So obviously the options that we're gonna get are what we go out to bid for. So we need to, in the short term, at least explore landfilling, which is not perfect, but is better as a short term option than continuing to burn our trash. And then we need to look at different ways that we can transition to models like municipal composting. This happens in communities that are much bigger than our small towns, and in Camden County, we have teeny tiny towns, Brooklawn, Audubon Park, and then we have giant towns like Cherry Hill, Gloucester Township. In some of those smaller places, we could do pilot programs, right, to see how would municipal composting work, how could we get citizens on board. Um, in other places, right, in Salem, they use a model called pay as you throw. So this basically, you know, incentivizes people composting and reusing rather than throwing things away. So a pay as you throw model would bill people for the trash that they generate, just like you pay for the water that you use. Um, so there's options out there, but certainly again, in the short term, we need to go out to bid for landfilling and other options. And then we need to look at what we can do in the long term. We've got an aging facility. It's not gonna last forever. We've got damage that's being done to our, our air to the planet, and we've got this system that is environmentally unjust, so it's time to change that. So again, I hope that we can count on your support by June 6th that you are voting for column one, and let's get clean air together and let's close Cavanta.